Hi and welcome to another Holistic 3D tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at reading and writing from a file when your application is on a web server. So when you build out to WebGL, how do you access an external file? Now if you've tried this, you'll find it doesn't work if you do it the traditional way using code like this, where you create some path and that path is usually local to the actual file or the application that you're running and then you write some data into it. Now when you're running something on a web server, it won't let you do this for security reasons. So you can't just write and read from a file in the traditional sense. Now it's obviously possible because people do it, but how do you do it? Well, besides having your WebGL app that you've written with Unity, for example, running through a browser, you need a companion program sitting on the same server with it that you can get them to talk to each other through web calls. And then when it does that, it can save it to an external file. So a simple system and the one that we're about to set up will look like this. We're going to create a WebGL app in Unity that's running inside your browser. It is then going to request that data be written to a file using a little PHP script. So the PHP script will get called by the WebGL and then the PHP will write to the file. We'll also do this in reverse where we'll ask the PHP script to read stuff out of the file and then give it back to the WebGL app. Now to do this you're going to need access to a web server or install PHP on your own machine. I'll show you how to do this with your own little server on your machine. You'll need to get php.net, download it and install it on your computer. Now, once you've got that, we'll be able to run a really simple little web server on your own machine. If you have access to your own web server, then you'll be able to put these same files on to that web server in a directory that you can browse to. You'll have to ensure that PHP is enabled on that particular server. And that's going to mean that you can write files to it. If you have something like a WordPress site, then it's already running with PHP. And if that allows you to upload stuff into another directory that you can browse to outside of WordPress, then you're also good to go. But at least if you don't have a web server, if you put PHP on your machine, you'll be able to test this out and see what it does and get it to work before you start mucking around with uploading your files onto um, an external server. So if you'd like to follow along, open up a Unity project file and I've got a scene here with nothing in it. The scene itself is not matter. We're just going to create a, a user interface that we can just press some buttons and send data to and from our PHP script. First of all, you'll need a script that controls what's going on in Unity. So let's create a C -sharp script in the assets of this project and we'll call it write to file. Now we're also going to, in the hierarchy, just create an empty game object. So right click, create empty and we'll call this uh, let's call it file manager, probably not the best name, but that's what it is. And then attach your write to file script to that file manager so that it's going to run it in the scene. Now let's open up that script and edit it. The first thing we'll do is create a button. So just at the top here, I'm going to create uh, an on GUI and that on GUI is going to create a button a GUI button, display it on the screen, and then run a coroutine, which we're yet to write. Now, I'm using on GUI just because it's way easier to get something up on the screen that you can test and play around with rather than going through the canvas and setting up those types of buttons. But feel free to do it because it will, this same thing's going to work as long as you're calling the same methods each time if you use a different method. So, you know, that's fine. Now we're going to uh, create this GUI button up in the top corner on the window and I'm just setting the size here because it was really, really small as a default and you wouldn't have been able to see it. So that's why I've added a style on this particular button and the button's going to have send information to file written on it. When it's clicked, it's going to run send text to file. 
Now, it's not going to run at this stage because we haven't written this send text to file. So I'm just going to comment this out and then we can save it. Go back to Unity and if you just press play, you'll be able to see that button come up. OK, so you can see it there and, you know, it doesn't do anything yet, but at least that bit's working. OK, so let's go ahead and write the actual send to text file method. So we'll bring the button code back in and then underneath here, let's add in this. So here's send text to file. It's an I enumerator because it needs to be run as a coroutine so that when you push data or do a request to that PHP file, that it can wait for it, um, but not crash or pause, if you know what I mean. It's not going to just sort of sit there and go, wait, wait, wait. It will keep running um, other things around it as well, which is what you want in your Unity app. But when it does, it's going to come back into this method and then either give you an error or a failure. But let's go through this whole thing from the start. First of all, I'm creating a bool called successful. And this is just holding on to whether the posting to our PHP script was uh, successful or not. It's not being used for anything in here, but you might want to use it in your application later. So that's why I've, I've kind of created it here, though it's not being used, but I'm showing you where to set it. Now, the next thing and the most crucial thing to getting our WebGL Unity app speaking to a PHP is to create a web form www form. Now, this form is pretty much equivalent to a web page that has little fields on it. So you know when you go to some web page and you sign up for a newsletter or you're typing information in doing a survey, then they're all web forms on that page with the little fields and things like that. And we're creating one internally in Unity. You don't see this, it doesn't appear anywhere. It's just like a, a virtual one. And it's not even virtual in the sense that you can still see it. It's just sitting there in the memory with the stuff in it um, mimicking a web page that has fields on it with information. So once you've created the form in here, we then add our fields to it. So you can see I've added in three fields and it's form.addField. Each field has a name that it requires to identify it and then you can have data in it. Now I've got fixed text data in this one here. But let's say that you got your information from a interface that you put some text fields on and you got the user to type things in, then you could put that in here instead. So for example, I could just type something like string name equals Joe like that. And then I would replace this in here with name. Okay, so see, it, it's just a string swap essentially. So anyway, let's just go back I'm putting these in as fixed strings just because it's a bit easier to get started with it. And then you can play around with sending values through. You'll notice that with this field, um, they're string, they're text field, so that numbers even are going inside double quotes. Now, once you've created that form, you have to send it somewhere. And this is where we post it to our PHP script. And we do that with a www call. So here I'm declaring a www call, calling it www. So the class itself is in capital W's and my variable is in lowercase. So just to distinguish the difference between those. Now we create a new call to our PHP script using the URL of that PHP script. In this case, I'm running my own little local PHP server, which I'll show you how to set up in a moment. If you had yours on an external server, then you'd have to put the proper URL in here. Now, what's really important is that your WebGL app has to be sitting on exactly the same server that your PHP is. Because again, you can't be calling a PHP script on another server, like across servers from one to another. If they're at different addresses, URLs, you will get like a security error. It will not let you do it. And you'll learn that pretty quickly as you start to do this exercise. 
Okay, so here's my URL where my PHP is going to sit, which we haven't created yet. But what we're doing is we're sending through our form. So this is our WW form that we've just created with our new data in it, and we're going to post it to this PHP script. Right, once we've done all that, we then run this yield return www because this might take some time to do. Okay, so if you're sending a lot of information on your form or you have a slow internet connection or whatever, it's going to be attempting to do this in the background so we can yield at this point. And then once it finishes running this, it will come back to after this yield and then continue running the rest of this method. Now, if you get an error back from your web call, it's going to go into this part of the code here, in which case we're practically just ignoring it. So if there's an error, then we're setting successful to false and ignoring it. <laughs> Otherwise, if this else happens, we did get something that came back from our PHP script in the format of a little message. And that message ends up inside www.text property and you can see here I'm just printing it out so you could put this into a text field or, or text box on the screen if you wanted we're just going to look at it in the console so that we can see that this is working so that is our WebGL side I should probably stop saying WebGL this is our unity side of our application that we're building now the next step is to build our PHP script and get the server going. Okay, so I'll leave that till part two. Thanks for watching. Please support the development of more superb online learning content by subscribing. And as always, visit holistic3d.com to learn more about awesome games development books and tutorials.